One of the most common imbalances we find is a metal metabolism disorder that has to do with elevated copper and depressed zinc. And this, uh, this usually relates to a, a protein in the body that's supposed to be managing and keeping our, our zinc and copper levels homeostatically controlled, and that, that protein is known as metallothionine. Well, we see elevated copper and low zinc levels in autism, more than 98% of these autistics, for example. We also find it in other disease conditions, including postnatal depression, uh, ADHD, um, many forms of depression, schizophrenia. And uh, basically, your metals are very important to your brain function and also to your general health. And they, if, you're, if you're deficient in zinc, you're going to be low in GABA, which is a calming neurotransmitter. If you're high in copper, you're going to be ha you will you will have too little dopamine, and you will have an excessive, um, unusual amount of norepinephrine. And these are very important neurotransmitters. So copper zinc imbalances can cause great mischief.